guys, thank you for watching Beauty Box. I'm Hayes Betts today. Um, I'm doing the first of two videos for you. I'm doing, um, it's a nail tutorial, but it's actually a competition entry. But it is going to be a tutorial as well. So I'm just going to, this is the competition I'm entering. I'm sorry again for the noises, as you know, I've got Immy. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm doing them on fake nails today because um, I only painted my own nails yesterday. So I'm going to be doing them on tips. Now what I'm going to start out by doing is I'm going to take three colours, which is Misguided Mistaken, which is orange. Collection 2000 Hot Looks Fast Dry, this is Sherbet Lemons. And... Nina Ultra Pro Salon Formula and this is called Share the World. And it's a brown. Okay. On to the bottom third of the nail. Now it doesn't matter what way you do it because we're going to be doing some sponging in a second anyway so it doesn't have to be neat at all. Then I'm going to move on to my orange and I'm just going to do the middle section. And then I'm going to take a little sponge. This is just a little tiny piece of a makeup sponge. You can use um, like a dish sponge if you want to. You can even use a cotton bud. You don't have to go out and buy special sponges or anything. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to blend that line between the yellow and the orange. I'm just going to like... I'm not fading them into each other. I'm just sort of blending it and then where it's sort of come off a little bit there I'm going to just paint that in again with the orange. I'm trying to do this in one coat because I have got some more colours to go over the top when this is dried. Now I'm going to take my brown and paint the rest of the nail. This is a really pretty brown because it's it's not just a basic brown, it's got like hints of purple in it as well, which is quite nice. And then I'm just going to put a little tiny bit on my sponge again and I'm just going to do the same thing I did before, just dab it in. This does not have to be neat at all, you're going for a graduated effect. Again, just paint it in if it's come off slightly. Now I'm going to set this down to dry and when it's dry I'll come back and we'll put some more colours on. Okay so now that this is dry what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three more colours and sponge those over the top of these and I'm going to be using Barry M's Mushroom, Barry M's Bright Red and Nina Ultra Pro Black. So I'm going to start with the red. So again I've just got my little sponge pop a little bit on the end of the sponge. Now the red is going in between the brown and the orange so what I'm going to do I'm just going to flip this over so that I can get it how I want it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sponge in between just like this to sort of try and blend this out a little bit more and then I'm going to sort of do a bit of a triangle going upwards if you need to then obviously take a little bit more polish. The reason I'm not dipping this into um, the paint is because I don't want to pick up too much on my sponge, I just want a small amount, that's why I'm like putting it on myself, like that. I have got a little patch of orange here that's come off but that doesn't matter because we're going to be painting over it anyway. Next I'm going to take my mushroom and I'm going to put a little bit of that onto the sponge. I'm just putting all these colours directly on top of each other because then they all blend in anyway. Now the mushroom is going on the yellow so all I'm doing with that is I'm just going to put this along the top of the yellow like this. And I want this going sort of onto the yellow quite a bit. I do apologise for any sniffing that you'll hear, it's because I'm still not well, but um, I only found the contest today and it ends at midnight tonight, so I need to, um, I need to get cracking really. So there you go. 
excuse me then I'm just gonna have a tiny tiny little bit of black and I mean a tiny little bit that's literally all I've put on so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna go into the bottom corner of the brown and just sponge it in and they are now your six colours. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the nail work. I'm going to put some black polish onto this bit of paper and then I'm just going to dip into it like this and I'm going to start by doing a black line straight across the bottom third and this is where you've blended your um, your black, not your black, your brown to your red. I'm just going to try and loosen my brush up a bit because it's gone a bit stiff. Now what I'm doing at the bottom is I'm trying to create like a fence look. Either a fence or a bench, whatever you, way you want to interpret it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in my tree trunk. So I'm just going to start at the bottom and sort of go upwards. And again, start at the bottom and work upwards. Now don't worry if you're going to be going over the lines you've just done because we're going to be doing some um, highlighting in a second anyway. Just colour all this in. The effect we're going for is obviously because we've got the fading sunset in the background. Everything's going to be in black because it's going to look like um, the sun setting. So these are all the shadows that are like coming off of it. All I'm doing now is I'm just doing some lines coming out of the tree. And these will obviously be the branches. I'm so sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. I do have a nail that I've pre-painted that I'm going to show you guys. So that's what I'm going to do for that. Now I'm going to take a different colour. Now this is the new Barry M nail effect. This is the gold foil effect. I'm going to again just cleaning my brush off. Now I'm going to dip into the gold and all I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a stippling over the branches and this is going to represent the beautiful autumn golden leaves. I'm not doing it over the whole branch. I want you to still be able to see a little bit of the branch. I'm going to highlight around the edges of the post and down the edge of the um, fence posts or bench posts, whatever you want to call it, like that. And then I'm just going to do a little tiny bit underneath as well. And then with the gold, finally, I'm just going to sort of stipple it in the very top corners of the picture like that. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of the first brown that we used, the Nina brown, dip into that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that in with the leaves as well, just to give you like a multi-tonal The great thing about this background is you could do anything. You could do just a leaf pattern on here if you wanted to. You don't have to go as intricate as what I have. But this is the finished design. This is one that I did earlier, so you can now see it on two nails. And I think that this represents autumn nail art quite well, to be honest. So... This was my first contest entry and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see any more nail tutorials, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed my video. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.